hello everyone welcome back today in this video we are going to integrate our js file into the by using this weight js into our admin dashboard so let's get started so in the previous video we added our style sheets so now the time is to add the javascript file so just add the quotation here so i'm adding this space for you so you can easily identify that which are the css file and which are the js file so you can remove this space whatever you like okay so now let's go to this auth and here i'm going to go to the script tag now i'm going to render all of these one so first i'm going to explain one and then i'm going to do these behind the scene so here i'm going to copy this path right so let's go here it's similar like we are adding this for the css so just to type resources okay and then you need to type oh, assets because it uh, exists in the assets and assets contain the auth directory and auth now we don't need to mention the css or js we need to mention the js because we are executing it for the from the js so in the js i want to look into the not assets so let me remove this assets so i want to go to this j uh, vendor then js and then vendor dot vendor dot base dot js right so similar we need to add these all files so let me go back okay we need to uh, uh, add all these files and then we need to add them here by replacing all these file with the wheat so i'm going to do this in the behind the scenes and coming back okay guys i have uh, added all the files and before this uh, before running the javascript i want to show you something that if i click on this ui element so it's not going to open this out right so not, uh, no javascript is going to work right so now let's go here i have uh, added all the files in the weight config uh, i have all js files which mentioned in the theme and then i have added them uh, using this array symbol i have added all the same which i added this in the weight so let's uh, press ctrl plus s so it's going to refresh the web page automatically and it's going to load all of these files so you can manually check them that these are exist or not when you click on this uh, ctrl plus u or right click on this view page source so it will open all of the files and you can instantly click on any of the files and check that this file exists or not so it's pretty simple so let's go here and let's click on this and uh, yes this one exists that's why it's opening this out here right so you can check all of the files you can click on other files and view them into the web browser that these file exist and are not and yes this jquery file exists that's why it's opened out here okay so now let's uh, go here and click on this ui element and yes now this ui is working you can click on any of the ui let's click on this and yes now everything is working fine so now there is one problem we need to fix our images solution because our images uh, we did not set our images path right so how to set the images path and where to store our images so let's uh, go here go to our uh, template and this template contain the images right so let's uh, copy these images copy this uh, directory okay copy and go to our project and this project contain this resources so let's uh, uh, come back and then go to this public and in the public i'm going to create a uh, assets directory okay assets i'm doing this same right uh, why because i always follow this convention i store my all of the assets in the asset directory and here i create uh, uh, create auth and uh, then website user and stuff like that so i can store all of the um, assets uh, separately so i can easily differentiate whenever i want to change the theme so i don't need to worry about anything i'm just going to play around with the administrator things and my theme is going to update it and if you uh, will mix all of your file with the uh, other with the uh, uh, website with your admin dashboard with the user dashboard and when you uh after some time uh, one year or two year you want to update some theme so you can't update because you uh, you unable to figure out that what are the assets of administrator and website so that's why you need to structure it properly 
uh, for your future and uh, for easy to maintain okay so now let's go to the text editor and in the text editor we need to fix all of our images right so how to fix this images so let's uh, find the image tag first okay this one is a image tag and now i'm going to add this i'm going to cut this out like i'm going to just cut this fav fav icon right but i want to tell you let me first to fix this uh, first to uh, add this first path and then i will take and tell you the trick that how you can instantly add into the all of the ones so let's remove this out and type mustachi sign and in this mustachi just type acid because we are going to locate it through the public directory so that's why i added this acids okay then type acids and then slash auth and so then slash type images and then in the image i want to find this fav icon right so save this one and uh, let me also add this uh, let me save this one and check that this fav icon is working or not before this it's not to uh, working okay so wait for a moment and fav icon is this purple i purple icon okay okay man okay man this icon is appeared so it's mean that our image path is working and it's added properly right so now i want to show you that how you can add images at once so i want to show you a simpler solution so just go here and select assets slash images because our all of the files will be located into this uh, acid slash images so just to type uh, control plus dd so it's going to locate all the files but if you want to select them at once so you need to uh, just press f2 uh, no not f2 is not working okay i forgot that what's the tip it would be no it's not the control f i forgot uh, that what's the exact uh, uh what's the shortcut of this so i'm going to uh, to do this with the control plus t by pressing all of this one no this shortcut is working but it's highlighting only this two images okay all of the images are selected let me select this again uh, let me cut this out here so this would be uh, images slash press control plus f2 and yes f2 is working right so it's mean that it selected all the files so f2 is working man so you can use this into the windows right so now just type uh, mustachi sign okay no it's not selecting all of the files weird stuff okay let me select all of the files using this no man f2 is not selecting all of the files so i'm going to select all of the files through this control plus d and then you need to type mustachi sign here and then type acid okay and in the acid i want to look at this acids okay in the acid i want to look at this uh, auth and then i want to look at this images and uh, here you need to add this slash and leave this out why because here i want to add this uh, uh, i want to add every because uh, our images contain different type of strings like this logo contain four to five string but this contain the seven to eight string so we cannot uh, update them at once so just to add this path and then you can instantly copy this out right so this is the trick that you can instantly update this out without missing the missing the full path right so you need to just add the images so this is a quick tip so now let's uh, go to another one so let me update this all of the ones uh, into all of the ones then i'm coming back okay guys i have updated all the images so let's uh, press control plus s and it's going to reload our web page and uh, i'm opening this out let me do this friendly so this one is localhost 8000 and it's going to load all of our images because i set these images path and yes is this image is loaded this image is loaded and yes these images are already and yes our every image is loading right so you can play around with the javascript things you can add this like this okay so this is very uh, i personally like this uh, very much this theme is very attractive so you can add this for your dashboard and i'm adding this for my 
for my own website where i'm going to uh, where i'm going to add my all of the courses so my courses domain would be the courses dot cdl cell dot com so you can get all of the courses from there okay in the future not now so now it's not uh, live okay so this uh, dashboard is uh, uh, we added this similar dashboard into our laravel application right so there is no difference so everything is same so now question arise that we added this into the layout dot app so how we can add this for the multiple pages so i when i will I also explain this how you can add this into use this for multiple pages so you can reuse this theme so i will do this in the next video stay connected and if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and press the bell icon so you will get notified daily bye bye